guys and welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're doing well. It is Monday morning and I'm just starting to get into my work day. As you would have seen, I went to the gym this morning and then came home, had breakfast. My sister actually came over. So I had breakfast with her and now I'm like kind of getting myself all organized. You know, when you go away and then you come home and you just feel like a little bit overwhelmed by all the stuff you've got to get done the following week. That is where I'm at today, but I'm trying to remind myself that everything is going to get done. You can only do so much in a day and I need to just break all of my tasks down into smaller bits and we will get there. But overall, I am feeling really good after going away for the weekend and just having some time out, disconnecting from everything a little bit. My mind definitely needs to do that a lot more at the moment, just with how anxious I've been. I'm really looking forward to having a really productive week this week. I'm just doing some um, video editing and making some things that need to go up for Instagram and planning out the rest of my week because it's pretty busy this week actually. I just want to make sure that I get everything done and I'm really setting myself up for a good week. That's my plan at the moment. On the note of like having Monday blues, like you know when the week ahead just feels a little bit overwhelming and you get a bit anxious about it. I went to the gym today not feeling the greatest but had such a good session and really enjoyed being intuitive to what my body needed during the session. I did one of my exercises like in the outdoor area in the sun. It just honestly Honestly, had it such a big impact on my mood and I ended up changing the rest of my workout to like do the exercises out there because it just felt so nice being in the sun. I did a bit of my rehab stretching and then planned tomorrow's workout. Felt really really good after that. But today I am just getting into some uni work, getting some stuff done before I work this afternoon. Just making sure I'm set up well for the week ahead. <laughs> guys happy tuesday it is a great day look at how sweaty i am i'm so red right now i have sweat just pouring down me right now i just finished uh, my gym session for the day i actually had such a good session i plan to do a little bit of boxing i haven't boxed properly in a very long time like maybe five six months i did like a full body weights session did some boxing after maybe like 10 15 minutes and just kind of like burnt off some steam and it was so good like so fun I've definitely lost a bit of my not skills but like ability to do it but it was really fun just punching the bag and getting some energy off my chest I love that so I definitely want to do that a little bit more I'm feeling good today I have a bit of a busy uni day getting stuck into my next lot of assignments yeah it's one of those assignments they like literally just did not give us much guidance you kind of just have to go and find how to do it yourself it's like a document that I've never even heard of before or like that I've had to do. I find that so silly to me like here to learn how to do these as best as possible not like google how to do it and follow someone else's tutorials you know what I mean? How to formulate a really good document and yeah it's kind of just like I have to google what I need to do and figure it out for myself. That's a bit frustrating but anyway I also this morning I started to get a few things onto my laptop for placement which is next month and I don't know if my laptop is gonna make it. She is quite old. I think I got her in 2013. So she's a 2013 MacBook Air and she's been slowing down for a good couple of years. Like even when I was at uni and had to use it to take notes, she wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> but she lasted me my my bachelor degree which is fine but now I need it for placement also just for the ease of like being able to take my work with me I do all my work on my desktop at the moment whilst I do work there a lot it would be nice to have the option to take my work somewhere else or be able to do it in different locations so yeah just really frustrating but I don't know what to do because I hadn't really prepared for this to happen I kind of knew in the back of my head so I do have some savings but I don't currently have the money to fully fund it right now especially because I've just booked holidays which is very unfortunate timing but you got to do what you got to do this is just real world stuff 
you know, struggle with money. I don't just like buy everything that I want. But anyway, it is what it is. Can't do anything about the situation. Just trying to work out what laptop to get and whatnot because I'd love to be able to get like a Microsoft or something that's not as expensive as an Apple. But all of my software is on Apple. My editing software is Apple and I paid $500 for it. So I don't really want to let that go to waste. All of my products are Apple so they all kind of sync together don't really know what to do so I'm in a bit of a pickle about that but I guess we'll figure that out as it comes it's just a little bit of a hurdle at the moment and a little bit frustrating I guess when you're trying to save and yeah get your finances sorted I guess and then like little hiccups like this come up is what it is I've gotten nine years out of it so that's pretty good yeah I just I'm scared of it like breaking during placement like I feel like that would just frustrate me i'm gonna quickly stop at the grocery store grab some groceries and yeah head home make some breakfast get stuck into the day good afternoon guys it has been very boring sit at your desk kind of day which aren't my favorite i feel like that's just my motto for this week you do what you do it is 3 30 been making some moves on my assessment that are due before i start placement next month i have two assignments one's like a video component and the other one's like a written assignment so i'm doing the written one first because it's due first due at the end of next week um and i'm just trying to get my head around it honestly that was my focus for today because i've never done one one of these documents before so just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to put where but I think I've kind of gotten my head around it the next bit that I'm doing is just kind of formulate as you go there's two parts there's like a document and then a written rationale so I'm hoping to have the actual document done this week and next week's focus is the rationale and we're sweet and we've done it but I just got an exciting email and I thought I'd share it with you guys I got my placement details for next month and I got my school and I'm happy about it and I got my year level um, and I believe it's a joint class of year one and two so six to seven year olds and I'm so excited because that is my favorite age at the moment. I'm expecting that once I go on placement and experience different age groups, I'll get an obviously better understanding of the age groups that I prefer. In my head, I just think year one and two and three are probably my favorite age group. Um, also based off Osh, like the kids that I get along with the best are the younger kids and the ones that I enjoy working with the most are the younger ones. I'm really excited about that and I'm really hoping it's a good experience. I'm excited to learn a lot but yeah obviously there's that element of anxiety as well. I feel like I see a lot of people who get their placements and are just like ecstatic about it and like so so eager and whilst I am really excited and eager I feel like there's a lot of anxiety that comes with that like so much unknown for me still and especially being your first placement I feel like I don't know there's just a lot of anxiety in that. Anyway that's that. I'm just waiting to get my supervising teacher's details so I can email her. Hopefully she's really lovely but yeah I just don't really know what to expect so we'll see what happens there but I'm glad I have something and it's organized. I don't know if I've told you guys this before but I have a lot of family members that are teachers um, like my auntie was a teacher, uh, my cousin's husband, my other cousin. There's a lot of teachers in our family and my cousin is also doing her masters of teaching. Um, she's a bit older than me. Yeah, I'm hopefully gonna be able to meet up with her to get some advice and whatnot before I go because I know with my personality, I'll get a little bit overwhelmed with the unknown. I have some veggies in the slow cooker for dinner. I'm making like a little, I was gonna say rice soup thing and then I'm just prepping for tomorrow. I have work in the morning and then I'm going to spin class and I'm going to keep smashing out this assignment. <laughs> morning guys it is wednesday today i've just arrived at the gym i had work this morning and i think it's because it's nearing the end of term the kids are just all very tired or very emotional it was a bit of a crazy morning <laughs> anyway school holidays are in two weeks and i've never done vacation care um as of yet so i'm a little bit nervous to see how that goes because i know it's like a different 
situation set up from just before and after school care anyway it was just a wild morning but i'm at the gym i am going in to do my spin class i've got to go get changed i've got a big uni day today i've got classes i have assignment work i need to do really just want to have a productive wednesday <laughs> Hello guys, it is Wednesday afternoon. I have had such a busy day today. Like I feel like I haven't had a moment to just gather my thoughts. Um, it's just been one of those days. I've gotten a lot of stuff done. I had two classes that I've just finished. It's like 4 p.m. now. I honestly just don't know where today's gone. Like it's gone so fast. My spin class was really good. We had our original instructor back, which was really nice. A very tough class, but I'm glad I did it. I also did some placement prep for like documents and just stuff that needs to be sorted and then I got a little bit overwhelmed by it just feel like at the moment like I had like a week where everything kind of just seemed a little bit more manageable <laughs> and now I just feel like everything is like ramping up again and there's so many tabs open that like the only way for me to chill is to just get some stuff done so I did a lot of stuff I actually um, did some printing of a whole bunch of documents that I need and started to get out some materials and bits and pieces I'm gonna need on placement. I will show you guys what I've like gotten out but I also made a list of things I need to get because there's a lot. So yeah there's, there's a lot more stuff that I still want to get but I want to try and make a video all about how I'm prepping for placement and show you guys all the things I've bought, all the things that are in my bag, things that I'm just doing to make me feel better and to reduce my anxiety. So if you'd like to see that please let me know. I want to do it even though I feel like as a pre-service teacher going on first placement I feel like I know nothing. I'm happy to share with you guys what I'm doing but please if you have any placement prac suggestions please let me know. Um, but yeah I printed out a whole bunch of documents. I also have this little uh, display folder and it just has some documents that I'm going to need like the APSTs. I printed them out a while ago so I've got them in here. Yeah just some like key documents. I, I'm kind of just holding them in here for now but that's that. I have this pastel pink document wallet which I think I'm going to use to just store random pieces of paper that I collect on placement because I know I'm just going to chuck them in my bag and yeah this will keep them all organized. I've got some dividers because I'm going to get a binder to have a placement folder which will have all my observations, lesson plans, resources, all the information that I kind of need so it's all in one spot. That's just how my brain works. It's what I have to do. And then I did some laminating. I've got these little like taxonomy flower um, cards. I got them off Twinkle. I think they're so cute. I'm not sure if I want to cut them out. Um, and then I also got Mathopoly. Where is it? One second. I'm just in a live chat about my online order. Gosh, this is so annoying. I hate doing stuff like this. I used to order on ASOS religiously and I randomly decided to order from them again after like not ordering anything off them for a year. Anyway, it's been the worst experience of my life. The parcel got lost. It never got sent to the couriers. Um, and then just trying to like sort that out with them has been such a headache. Like I'm so sick of emailing them. I've probably spoken to them probably about 10 times about the one order and yeah, anyway, I'm just trying to organize what's actually happening. Yes, but did you see what I said before? That's that. What I was trying to show you was my little Mathopoly. So it's like a maths game for kids, but it's like obviously in the theme of Monopoly. And then I've got all these like cards. So I laminated them because I thought maybe they'll last a little bit longer. And I just want to have some resources on hand just in case I need them. I think I said yesterday I'm teaching grade one and two. Yeah. If you guys have any resources you think I should get, I am loving Twinkle at the moment. I'm having a Twinkle vibe. I will put this all in like a placement prep video. This is my little pencil case that I got fitting in with my little flower theme. Um, and it's just got my blue card and some pens in there currently because I need to get some stuff. And then a little journal for me to like note down stuff. Good morning guys. It's 5.30. I have just gotten up, made my coffee, my overnight wheat bix out of the fridge and I'm gonna have breakfast while I watch the sunrise. This is like the best time 
to watch the sun come up like I can sit in my office sunrise is kind of over there it's really nice to I don't know it'd be a bit brighter in the morning and to have something to look at but it's Thursday today I have worked this morning and then I'm going straight to Pilates and then I'll come home and get stuck into my uni work for the day I've got two classes two classes today and I need to work on my assignment and try and get a bit more done I already meditated this morning as well which is good because I was feeling quite anxious for today <music> Hello guys, it is Thursday afternoon. I had such a rushed around morning, but a really good morning. Work was all right today. And then I went straight to Pilates, which was good. And then I um, caught up with my grandma and just had a coffee with her, um, which was really lovely as well, because I feel like I've just been so go, go, go that yeah, I haven't been able to see my family as much as I would have liked to. Um, but that was nice this morning and then had to run some errands. So now I'm home and I'm about to get stuck into uni work. I've also scrubbed off my fake tan so I'm feeling very pale. Do not love that feeling when you scrub off your fake tan and you like notice the color difference because I feel like before I didn't feel like I looked as pale. It's a mind game I swear. But yeah I have a class that I'm about to do and then I've got some assignment work and I need to get quite a bit done today because I didn't realize how busy the next few days are going to be. It's my grandma's 90th birthday tomorrow and we have a lot of family celebrations um, and I'm also catching up with some people I used to work with which will be really nice and I haven't seen my partner all week because we've both been so busy so um that's what I'm planning to do over the next couple of days I need to stop talking and get stuck into some work <laughs> Happy Friday. I have just gotten home from the gym. As you would have seen this morning, it was so dark because it's been really raining, but I just got back from the gym. I did an upper body session today, which was actually really good. I felt really strong and accidentally went up weights. I didn't even know I'd grabbed the wrong weight. That's also really motivating as well. So feeling good after that. I'm just having my overnight wheat bix now. Got to quickly have a shower, get changed, and then I'm heading to my grandma's house because it's her 90th birthday today. And we have all of my mum's side of the family in the same state because we live all over Australia. So that's really special. We're just going up um, to see her on her birthday and whatnot, but we're having like a nice lunch for her tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This has actually been a lifesaver this week, like pre-preparing my breakfast just makes my mornings a little bit more seamless, I guess. My hair, honestly, just needs a wash. It is so gross, but I don't have time for that this morning. Anyway, today I have uni. I'm hoping to smash out some assignment work as well, finish off my classes for the week. And then this evening, Pav and I, I think are going to go shopping and have a look at computers which is exciting um, and see them in real life and see what my options are. That's where the day's heading. Hello guys. I'm just having one of those days today where my brain is on a whole other planet. I'm feeling very tired and concentration is very low, but I finished off my classes for the week and I've just been working on my assignment, um, doing research, which is so tedious but anyway i'm going to finish up my uni work soon because i'm gonna get ready i need to straighten my hair and pab and i are gonna head into the shops after he finishes work but i think on the way i'm gonna pop into office works because i want to look for some teaching stuff there i did get a little package just before this i didn't even know i was getting but it is from emco beauty they have a new limited edition collection called get glowing. I have bath bomb treatments, satin pillowcase which is 
what I got. So you can get satin pillowcases from Emco. This one's in pink. That's really cute. Oh, that feels nice. Ooh. I actually do use these a lot in summer. I find it gets a bit cold in winter, but now that it's getting warmer. Oh, and then we've got some bath bombs. That is fun. I did get some stuff from Kmart as well really quick, but I am going to leave that for my prac placement vlog because I'll show you guys all in there, everything that I've picked up. I'm just going to finish up what I'm doing now and then start to get ready so that I can head off to office. Work.